Okay, so yesterday we did a video on how to do Google Meet, but because of trial and error today, we have learned something new and we wanted just to give you a quick little intro on how it works. So when your kid logs into the Google Classroom, initially, I only have two people in this class right now, and myself, and I have a, my personal other account over here. As I have more kids trickle in, their faces are going to be blocks also. And it's kind of going to look like, I want to take that off. So what the kids need to do, just we're going to make it as simple as possible. When your kids, let's hide that, take their mouse and they do it down here at the bottom. Remember I said yesterday you have your microphone, which should be muted the leave call, the camera. You also have, hey guys, pay attention to this, please. This is where you would raise your hand. Okay, so for example, if I move back over to my Riley one right here, and I raise my hand, see, look, if I've moved back over here, it's going to tell me right here in the corner that she has her hand up. Okay, so I'm going to click on it, or I'm going to say, hey, she's got her hand up. I can answer a question. Once I answer the question, I'm just going to come right back over here and put my hand down. Does that make sense? Except I don't like looking at myself twice. All right, so if we go back over here, we did that. Down in the lower right-hand corner, I have what we call a snowman. I click on that, and you have your change layout. It's probably going to be an auto, and when it does the auto, it's probably going to automatically go to tile. So you're just going to have a bunch of tiles on here when it initially starts. So what the students need to do is they need to find their teacher tile. And teacher tile will be right here, which is me. And when they do this, you're going to have, does one or two buttons pop up when y'all do this? Do not log in, do not log in. Do you remember, was it one or two? Three? Okay, two or three things pop in over here. The thing that you need to click on is the pin. You need to pin the teacher's screen to your Chromebook. So when we pin it, the teacher, the teacher, whatever the teacher's doing in her block is made big. All the faces of your classmates goes away just while they're teaching. And the teacher may say, okay, unpin me. And that way, like maybe if you're going to do some type of activity, it unpins and it takes me back to this. So the whole point of this little video was to inform us on how we pin stuff. So your screen is up. Hit the pin to screen. And it will make the teacher's screen or image on whatever they're doing back here nice and clear. All right, if you have any more questions, information, or whatever you want to hear, and let's see, ooh, it does, just uh, email us. You can email me, riley.more at lcss.us, and I will try to help you out. All right, bye.